Alrighty, it's your boys the Uxus, and we're back with another Goddess of Victory Nick Cave video. And uh, of course, the maintenance has been pushed back, so I actually have time to do this video because I forgot to do it yesterday. But this is a before you should summon slash should you uh, should you summon for Blanc, of course. Now, when it comes to this character, the, there's a lot of things to consider, right? Because she is a character, the first character in the game that somewhat requires another character, another specific not another character, but another specific character um, to be on the team for her to fully work um, at least better, a lot better, right? Than what she usually is doing, right? Nothing really changes in terms of having this character or and not having this character besides the cooldown on the burst skill. But it is a very big jump because it goes from 60 seconds to 20 seconds at level 10 when you have Noir. So before you summon, you need to consider things like, are you planning on summoning for this girl in Noir? Because I generally think if you are not planning on summoning for Noir, then don't summon for this girl. If you only care about meta. Now, if this is your like new favorite waifu, by all means, go ahead and have fun. Right, if this is your new waifu, by all means. But if you are wondering if you should summon for quote unquote meta, if you're not planning on summoning for the next girl, which is um, where is my cursor? Okay, my cursor is frozen. Here we go. Um, if you're not planning on summoning for the next girl as well, which is this girl right here, her, this girl right here. If you're not planning on summoning for her, then there's no point for you to summon because I feel like it's almost it just doesn't really make sense for you to. Not that doesn't make sense, but one, this girl's a wish list character. What that means is that she's going to be on regular pull and you could put her on your wish list, right? So you can get her in the future anytime. She's not limited. She's not a pilgrim. She's nothing crazy in terms of like being hard to get in the future. She's a very good character, right? Again, paired up with her sister, Nier, or Noir, my bad, um, Noir. She's possibly, probably the best two, best defender in the game, right? Best two character in the game. She, she's very, very broken. Very, very good. I do think this is a character that a lot of people could take advantage of. But again, we also don't know what Noir does. So if you do not want to take the risk and not knowing what Noir does, then, um, or you don't want to take the risk by summoning for this character. And then if Noir does end up being quote unquote trash, and then, you know, you don't want to summon for Noir anymore, then I guess you would just have this character, but it wouldn't make sense because she's really only going to be better. Like, you're really... She's a burst 260 second cooldown. There's no way you're really going to use this girl unless you have Noir on the team with you. It's as simple as that. Um, now, you could always run two burst two characters, but, like, it still wouldn't work because she's a 60 second character right it, it still wouldn't work so you would basically have to run what no it wouldn't work at all she, she's a 60 second character it wouldn't work um i mean it would if you had a burst or uh, a 20 second burst two character but then it's like you're always using that person's unless you have hers first but yeah i don't think this is a character you should summon for unless you do plan on summoning for the next character the only reason why you should be summoning on this character is if you're summoning for noir if you like this character or if you want to collect every character in the game but that style would still equal to you having noir as well so that doesn't really matter but yeah if you're just asking yourself i'm not summoning for noir but i want this girl should i summon right now the answer is no i do not think you should use gems or tickets on this character um she is a very very good character but she is a character that just you kind of just have to use her with the other girl right she is good alone as well but it's a big big cap handicap from her by herself to her and her sister from 60 seconds to 20 seconds is a very big jump especially when you have a very 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 good burst skill like that that burst skill she has is amazing constantly recovers hp from her second skill and her burst skill when you're in a full burst basically um it gains indo uh, indomitability for 10 seconds to an ally with the lowest HP. So even if you have someone like Scarlet who's taking her own HP away, now Scarlet's max HP is getting increased by so much because of that ability. And Scarlet cannot die no matter what happens. So it would even be better for her. And then all enemies are having their damage taken increased by damn near 40%. Every 20 seconds, you can have that going off if you have noir which is very very crack especially that damage taken alone right every for every 20 seconds at level 10 skills you could have that going off with noirs now i don't know the percentages um from level one to think hopefully it's like it starts at 30 seconds i think that'd be cool too 
um 30 seconds or something but or 20 seconds base that'd be fine too where she becomes a 40 second then it could be every other you know burst skill but 60 seconds is too long i think so in my honest opinion this is not a character that i feel like you should be summoning for just because it doesn't really make sense for you to summon for her what are you going to use her in if you don't have her sister really i mean you could use her a lot of places right remember she has the shield mechanic as well right creates a shield equivalent to 11.8 percent of her max hp which protects allies from damage for five seconds now if this one is um it activates after landing 120 normal attacks that is different from Senti's, right? In terms of the capacity, it's better than Senti's, right? 11.8, that's like, you know, that's a bigger than what, like the 6.8, that's an extra four, and that's extra five percent. That's not that bad, right? But you gotta remember, Senti's is one that happens automatically, but it could hurt you and it could save you depending on the situation. But Blanc's is one that you can control. So if you want one that you can control, then you could say Blanc Shield is better. If you want one that's automatic all the time, right? But it's like not, like it's going off at its own time, then Senti's still the character you should use. But if you want Senti's Shield, that's a bit better in terms of survivability and you want to be able to control it then this could be a this character alone could be a good reason why because senti is like even though senti has good burst generation her main purpose for being on the team is that shield at the end of the day the damage reduction or the defense lower to five like weakest enemies is okay but it's like the main reason why you're using senti is literally for that shield right so if you want a character who has that same shield it better in terms of survivability the capacity uh, of the shield but um you can actually control it then this is the character you want to go for if not then by all means skip i just do not think this character is worth it for you if you're not summoning for the other heart half i know it sounds crazy to say that you kind of have to summon for two characters for me to make one character work like crazy well she works without the other character but by having the other character you change you build it's basically a pilgrim level unit at that point right a character who can spam that burst skill would be considered a pilgrim level unit at this point i think but she herself is not a pilgrim level unit right her with her sister kind of makes this girl a pilgrim level unit especially for defenders a shield she has a shield that you could activate at will you have constant healing gain indomitability to your weakest ally your lowest hp ally increase their max hp and then every then that's happening every 20 seconds with other sister and then damage taken to all enemies not a boss not enemy targets all enemies for damn near 40 percent that is too much for a defender that's probably better than noah when you're with her sister realistically i'm not even gonna lie to you that's probably better than noah all right um maybe not maybe not because noah's giving you invincibility and she's also giving you the massive defense probably not um well probably right because santi i would say is better than noah in general right um so yeah this would be better than noah's most likely right so yeah, i don't know i i wouldn't say summon if you're not going to summon with those conditions in mind um remember she is a regular unit as well so she like i said she can always go into wishes she's not somebody you need to have right now she's not like you know what i mean so keep that in mind. her banner is two percent so if you want to test your luck by all means but if you want to be smart about it and you know you're not going to summon for noir just wait and put her on your wishes but if you want to summon because she's your waifu, by all means, go ahead. It's going to be your boys, the Uxus. I'm going to have this video out an hour before the banner actually goes up so that you guys can watch it before you want to summon or whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Later. Peace.